Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about mean of group data. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to accurately construct the frequency tables for a group data. Accurately compute for the estimated mean of a group data and appropriately use the estimated mean in analyzing and interpreting statistical data. When we say group data, these are data that are given in intervals. So, meron na siyang class intervals na ganito. So, hindi na siya yung raw data na paisa-isa binibigay yung exact value. So, this is an example of a group data wherein meron na tayong class intervals. So, 1, 2, 3. Um, this is the number of cards or tinatawag na frequency. Okay? 1, 2, 3, it's 3. 4 to 6 is 2. 7 to 9, 4. 10 to 12, 3. So, pwedeng andito yung least na uh, lowest class interval. Pwede din namang balik na dito sa pinakamaba yung 1 to 3, and then 4 to 6, 7 to 9, and then yung highest na class intervals would be 10 to 12 dito sa taas. Pwedeng ganon. Okay? So, again, these are the class intervals, and th these are the frequencies. Okay? So, this is an example of a group data. When we estimate for the mean of a set data, um, we have to get the midpoint of each class interval first. Okay? Midpoint. So, this serves as the representative of the value for each class interval. The midpoints are computed as follows. So, we have here midpoint denoted by x. And then, um, it is solved by adding the lower class limit and the upper class limit, and we divide it by 2. Okay? So, example, 1 to 3 is the class interval. Ang lower class limit ay 1. Ang upper class limit ay 3. So, we add mo 1 plus 3. And then, it divides sa 2. So, we have that here. 1 plus 3, and then it divides sa 2. 1 plus 3 is 4. Divided by 2 is 2. So, therefore, the midpoint is 2. We have here 4 to 6. So, i-add lang natin si 4 at saka si 6. So, 4 plus 6 equals 10 divided by 2 and that is 5. So, the midpoint is 5. Here, we have 7 plus 9 that is 16 divided by 2. That's 8. So, the midpoint is 8. 10 to 12. So, 10 plus 12, that is 22, divided by 2, that's 11. So, ang midpoint ay 11. So, when we say midpoint, parang na, yung nasa gitna ng class interval yan. Okay? Yung nasa gitna. So, ang sabi, ang nasa gitna ng between 1 and 3 is 2. Gitna ng 4 and 6, that's 5. Okay? Gitna ng 7 to 8, that's uh, 7 to 9 is 8. Gitna ng 10 to 12 is 11. Okay. So again, we can compute for the midpoint by adding the class, uh, the lower and the upper class limits and divide it by 2. Okay. Bakit natin kino-compute yung midpoint? Kasi kailangan natin siya when we compute for the estimated mean mamaya. So, steps in estimating the mean of the set of data. So, we have to get the product of the midpoint and the frequency for each class. We label the column as fx. So, here is our class interval. Ito yung frequency natin. Kanina nagdagdag tayo ng midpoint. That's x, di ba? So, we have already determined the midpoint. Now, in this case, magdadagdag tayo ulit ng isang column. Now, this one, we call it fx, meaning f times x. So, yung f is the frequency and yung x is the midpoint. So, f times x, meaning, i-multiply natin ang frequency dito sa midpoint. Okay? So, that's 3 times 2, that's 6. 2 times 5, that's 10. 4 times 8, that's 32. And 3 times 11, that's 33. Okay? So, that's um, step 2, ano? Um, step 2 uh, in estimating the mean of the data set. Next, what we are going to do is to get the sum of the frequencies and the sum of fx. Okay? So, the sum, summation of f, okay, or the total that we call it n, di ba? So, ah, andito na pala si 12. Ayan. Okay? So, this is our n or the summation of f. Okay? Summation of f. I-add lahat yan. So, 3 plus 2, that's 5 plus 4. 
That's 9 plus 3 is 12. So that's our N, the total of the frequency or the sum of the frequency. And then we have here Fx. Itong Fx, i-add lang natin lahat. So 6 plus 10 plus 32 plus 33, that is equal to 81. Now we label this as, we denote that as summation of Fx. Okay, summation of Fx, meaning these are Fxs. And so, we add all of them so that summation, okay, so 81. So, we need this information, yung summation of fx and yung n to compute for the estimated mean. Kasi, um, when we estimate the mean of the set of data or the estimated mean is given by this formula. So, we have x bar equals or the estimated mean equals summation of f of x Summation of fx divided by n. Yung kanina, di ba, yung summation ng fx natin na solve natin, that's 81. And yung n natin, that's the summation of f, or yung total ng lahat ng frequencies, that's 12. So, 81 divided by 12 is 6.75. Thus, the average value of the card is 6.75. Okay, so this is now the mean. Let's try this. Let's find the midpoint of each class below. So we have your class 34 to 37. So we add lang natin yan. So that's 34 is scratch paper plus 37 divided by 2. Okay, so 34, you may use your calculators. Para mas mabilis tayo. So, 34 plus 37 equals 71. I-divide lang yan sa 2. That's 35.5. Okay. 35.5. Okay. So, meaning ang gitna daw nito ay 35.5. Next, we have 38 to 41. So, that's 38 plus 41 divided by 2. 38 plus 41 equals yung muna if you're uh, using your calculator, ha? And then, divided by 2. 39.5. Okay, gani parang ganito lang ginagawa natin. So, next, we have 42 to 45. So, ang gagawin natin, 42 plus 45 equals 87. Divided by 2, that's 43.5. Okay, so this is now our mid midpoint or x natin yan. Alright. Okay, now let's have example number two. Given the following frequency table, uh, frequency distribution table, estimate the mean. Sige daw, we're asked to find the mean of this group data. So we have here the class intervals and the frequency. Yung n natin is 30. So this is the total number of frequencies. Now we are asked to... Solve for the estimated mean. So, we are going to add columns right here. Ano yung mga columns na yun? The midpoint. Uh, diba? Uh, the midpoint and the fx. Okay? fx. Alright? So, we have that one here. So, una natin ilalagay yung midpoint. O yung x natin. Yung dito naman, it's fx. Alright? 40 to 49. 40 to 49, uh, getting the midpoint, that's 40 plus 49 equals 89 divided by 2 is 44.5. Okay, 44.5. Pwede natin i-diretso na, no? 44.5 times 3, that's 133.5. Okay? Kasi i-times lang yan sila. Right? Next, we have 50 to 59. So, 50... Plus 59 equals 109 divided by 2. That's 54.5. 54.5. Multiply lang natin yung dalawa times 9. So, we have 490.5. Next, we have 60 to 69. 60 plus 69 equals 129 divided by 2. That's 64. Point five. I multiply lang natin sa six times six. That gives us three hundred eighty-seven. Yun. Next, we have seventy to seventy-nine. Seventy 
plus 79 divided by 2, that's 74.5. Okay, I times lang natin sa 2, times 2, that is 149. Next, we have 80 to 89, so 80 plus 89 Div equals 169 divided by 2, that's 84.5. I times lang natin sa 6, times 6, that's 507. Okay, 507. Next, we have, yung last natin is 90 to 99, so that's 90 plus 99 equals 189. I divide natin sa 2, that is 94.5. Then, i-multiply lang natin sa frequency na 4, okay, times 4, that's 378. 378. Next, yung kailangan natin ay ang total ng Fx. So, summation of Fx. Okay, so i-add lang natin lahat yan. So, that's 378, yung last natin kanina, plus 507, plus 149. Plus 387 plus 490.5 plus 133.5 equals 245. Okay, that's the summation of Fx. Now let's solve for the mean We're using the formula x bar equals summation of Fx. Divided by N. Summation of Fx is 2,045. 2,045. Divided by yung N natin is 30. Okay? So, uh, gamit tayo ng calculator para mabilis. So, that is 68.16666. So, round off natin into two decimal places. That would be 17. So, our mean... Okay, our estimated mean is 68.17.